Hi, my name is Laura Lucero López Herrera. I'm resident of internal medicine in Hospital Regional Ciudad Madero. Second grade, I was assessed by Dr. Juan Manuel Sánchez Sánchez and also assessed by Dr. Mario Antonio Cerecedo Rosendo. I would like to begin with the presentation of my poster. It's a case report of endocarditis by Candida Crusade. Our patient um, began at 39 years, but she had a important background about hypertension and systemic lupus erythematose diagnosed at the age of 19. That lupus went to lupus nephritis, place 4, so she had to begin with hemodialysis treatment. She went two days a week to hemodialysis sessions and she had treatment with prednisone since she was diagnosed. At the age of 39, she began with a three-month presentation of febricol and fever. She had febricol at um, hemodialysis sessions and she had fever through 39 degrees at her home. So she went to console where a trans thoracic echocardiogram was made where they found nothing. So they decided to hospitalize the patient where they made a blood culture um, found in Candida crusade and they made a transesophageal echocardiogram where they found a vegetation uh, on the tricuspid bulb. Mm, they decided to begin with the treatment of fluconazole and they mm, were assessed mm, with infectology, mm, which they suggest begin with amphotericin B mm, because of the availability of medications in our hospital. Mm, she went to third grade of attention in in which they began with peritoneal dialysis and she went to surgery. They began treatment also with caspofungin and in the surgery she had an electrofulguration of the vegetation and a prosthetic valve was collocated in the in the mitral valve. Um, with adequate treatment also pharmacological and chirurgical Mm, the symptoms mm, improved and she went through total recovery. In the poster, there is an image of a transesophageal echocardiogram where a valve, where a vegetation is evidenced in the atricuspid valve. Also, there is an, another image where mm, we presented a case, case report study which is in the bibliography, where they found 77 patients with endocarditis associated with candida. There is, we decided to put that image because of the incidence of, of candida albicans, candida cruse, candida glabrata. Mm, candida cruse, it's a rare, no, not common presentation of endocarditis. And we need to know perfect that the treatment it's not with assholes. So we we made this report and we made this poster for you to think always on all the species of candida and all the treatment you could give them. Thank you for your attention and I hope you like this presentation.